Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to Song of the Deep. This is a new Insomniac game that is very very nice. It is such a beautiful game. You uh, go around in the submarine underground and it's just it's a very enjoyable experience if you grew up watching fantasy movies, fantasy shows and you know fantasy related stuff because the feel of the game is very fantastical. You know with those fantasy story kind of things. So we're going to go into a new game and intermediate and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy so make sure to let me know do you like it Marin loved the sea she loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window she dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath her father was a fisherman each day he went out to sea and each night Marin waited at the rocky cliff edge holding up a candle to guide him safely home the two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dreams, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. It's beautiful, isn't it? The story of Merin, a girl that has a name very similar to mine, actually, in search of her father. It's lovely. And here we are in the beautiful world of Song of the Deep. The world beneath the waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the little, little crabs. Odd-looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. Coins, crabs that are humping each other. I think. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure they're humping each other. I mean, it's, a, it's an animalistic world out there, you know, animals hump each other every day, so... <laughs> humans too. But humans are animals as well, so, you know, it kind of makes sense. Whee! Here we are, and over here we need to open this with a claw. So you have a claw that's like your basic uh, weapon nice. and tool. Flickered and danced on the sea floor, like an underwater fire. Her father once told her about a mysterious, living energy called Tyne. Could that have been a Tyne Wellspring? Tyne Wellspring. He used Tyne Wellsprings to save the game. Very straightforward. Horse, made of clockwork gears, darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. Probably her father. Probably. He maybe became like a... Like a uh, mer merman, mermaid man. H how do you say that? How do you say a, a male mermaid? A mer 
Butler? Mer Butler? Either way, we're just gonna continue here and hopefully reach the destination sooner or later. Just follow the seahorse and you shall reach glory and glorious prosperity. Also, this game has Tentaclar, if you didn't notice. Tentaclar is in the game. Here we go, the claw. Magnetic claw. A versatile magnetic claw capable of grabbing, pulling and attacking. Marin approached a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw-shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. There you go. And there are also enemies and you can pick up objects and destroy stuff. The enemies are gonna appear here. Yeah, spotted See? shock nettles ahead of her. She there had to be go. cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. There you go, I'm gonna attack them on sight. Stupid hostile creatures. They're no match for me and my uh, spiky weapons. <laughs> spiky destructive weapons. But yeah, the controls of the game and everything within the game is just... It's well done. It's really well done. I can't really say anything against it. You can also use the claw to, to destroy th things. Very nice. There's also bombs right here. You can take the bomb and put it here so it destroys the thing. Excellent. Destruction. Another Tyne wellspring. A sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. The deadly head. Deadly head is gonna die. Luckily, I did play a little bit of the game, so I have built up my skill. According to her father, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. So she probably thought that her father was insane. But in the end, she realized that her father was actually uh, quite sane, and he probably was a mer butler. The old statue reminded her of her father's lullabies about the brave and beautiful Meros. The statue seems incomplete. It is complete. I can take his head. Okay, let's not take the head. It's gonna close the door. <laughs> Let's continue. So some doors are opened by completing statues. There's probably different ways of opening doors in the future of the game. I haven't played much, so I don't really know. Hello, you stupid... Ouch. Ouch. You're gonna bring me pain? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'm invulnerable to pain. It doesn't pain me. It pains your, my soul that you think it pains me. How can you be so naive? I have a submarine made out of out of scrap parts. It's kind of unbelievable that it works, but uh, you know that a little kid built a submarine. You aggressive bastards! Ouch! Ouch! There's also this thing here, whatever it is, but it is dead. They're all dead. Oh, son of a bitch! You bastard! They are so aggressive. I mean, this game is supposed to be like a like a exploration game for for beautiful little children like myself. And no. As Marin explored, she sketched the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. Very wise. Also, the uh, the game offers you buttons, you know, that teach you where to go, where you are, and where you're supposed to go. That is very nice, I like that very much. You know, when the game tells you where you can go and where you should go. What is this? Can I throw this? This is a starfish. Wait a second. Wait a second, I did play this and I think this starfish is important. The hermit crab watched Merin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. The crab seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. He is a little bit too expensive, so we must collect more money before we can do stuff with him. Okay, we can get up here. No, don't destroy my life, you bastards. 
I'm pretty sure that this starfish is used by the the clam up there, because there are also clams in the in the game. Basically, you use shit. Please no! I cannot believe this stupid. Okay, it's fine. Please stop being so aggressive. Why are they so aggressive? I'm just a man trying to play a game here. There we go. I pushed it. I pushed the starfish. Excellent. Excellent. The starfish is there. So now I'm gonna wait until the wind is gone and we can go very easily. Where is the... Where is my starfish? Where is my starfish? Here it is. Excellent. We take the starfish. No, do not attack me. Please leave me alone. So we got this bastard here. Please eat this. Is he gonna eat it? He ate it! He ate it! Okay, what did I get? Am I gonna die here? Probably not gonna die. Okay, it's fine. So, he gave me a fish. So, did the fish give me money? I'm not really sure. I think... Uh, yeah, I think the fish was money. Aggressive bastards. So many aggressive bastards in this game. Excellent. Money! I love me some money. Okay, we also need to give food to this bastard down here. I don't think he is very needy. I think he can eat these things. These things are very, very uh, common. So it is very easy to feed this type of clam. There you go. Give me food. I mean money. Uh, food, money. It's all the same thing. There we go. Plus ten. Excellent. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. There is a thing up here. See the boost? But I can't get the boost without the... Oh, shit. I forgot about the... Oh, I forgot about the head. Oh, balls. Okay, I need to go back up there. Pick up the head. The head should be down here, hidden among the ruins. Let us go. Let us go. Because uh, th this thing over here is the boost. And the boost is actually very, very useful. It's a key part of the submarine. Boost Jet, a sophisticated propulsion device capable of boosting the sub's movement in short Amidst sprints. the wreckage of an old Fomori vessel lay an undamaged propulsion device. Marin bolted it onto the back of her submarine, eager to test out its effects on her lightweight craft. Okay, the trader is here, so I could talk to the trader and get an upgrade or something. Okay, let's save first. The trader, so we can get the concussive claw. Concussive, oh, what is this? Magnetic collector boost turbine, 150. Add a high speed turbine to increase the duration of the ship's boost. I kind of want this concussive claw. It's very cheap and I think it is a very Using important part. She from the hermit crab, Marin took out her tools and made a quick modification to her magnetic claw. There you go. So now the magnetic claw should be stronger. Which is very nice news. Excellent news, my friend. We're gonna have the strongest submarine the world has ever seen. Also, we need to place the head. Where is the head? The head is down here. So we take this. We can also speed throw. A very... Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. That, <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Let's try that again. We go down here, boost, and launch it down. Excellent. Now this door is gonna open, and we can carry on. Marrow ruins. Marin looked in awe all around her. She knew this place from her father's songs. These were the lost ruins of the Marrows. Can it be? Is it possible? The lost ruins of Marrows. Are they really here? Man, I wish I wish there was like a I wish this was like a continuation from a from a children's movie or a show or something or a cartoon, you know. Lantern jellies blocked Merrin's path. Although the creatures could be deadly to the touch, they were very shy and even avoided each other's light. Yeah. These things are used the, these things you can uh, scatter them around if you use the light. And we don't have the light yet. But yeah, like I was saying, if this was like a continuation of a, of a show or a, or a movie or something, that would have been very, very cool. 
Ouch. Because then, you know, I would have some sort of a backstory, aside from the game itself. Marin peered through the windows of the houses, wondering if a Meru girl once lived there. And if her father had sung her lullabies about the world above. Yeah. It's actually very interesting, you know, the story of the game. Oh, what is this? Something is shining. Oh, I found money! Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, shiny money. Very cool that the game has these secret areas with more money. I like money. Did I say that I like money? I like money very much. I think I talked about that already. I don't know, I get confused. I get confused very, very easily. So it, why is this louder? You know, when you break down these things, they are louder. They shouldn't be this loud. A little bit of a challenge area. And here we go. This is where we have the light. Searchlights. Shine twin beams of light in front of the ship to illuminate darkness and inter interact with sea light. Two glowing lights amidst the scraps of an old Fomori machine. She attached them to the front of the submarine's hull, hoping they would help guide her on her journey. Go away, you stupid jellyfish bastards. We have the light. The light is gonna help us find a way. Because the light is the only way to conquer darkness. A blur of color darted through the shadows. Was that a marrow maiden swimming through the ruins? A mermaid? Huh. A mermaid. It's very cool. Is she like a mermaid from uh, from this city? Like she was a girl and she became a mermaid as the city fell to fell, fell to death? Because that would be quite cool. More money. <laughs> Lovely. All the money. Oh, what, what do we have down here? Oh, we have a chest. We have a chest down here. And look at these things down here. Oh! Money! 50 money! From these things! Thank you so much! Oh, that is so awesome! They gave me 50 money for uh, just being curious. See? That's what I like. The game rewards me for basically not doing shit. I like that. Yeah, I don't really know what to do next. But I'm gonna figure it out, so I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying Song of the Deep. Very enjoyable game. I like the story, I like the feel of the game, the atmosphere, it reminds me of things and besides Insomniac knows how to make games that I like, pretty much 97% of their games uh, I like them, so good job, good job boys and girls at Insomniac, I like this and hopefully you guys like it too, so feel free to you know like, comment and do all that stuff that, that you do uh, to support the series and we're gonna carry on playing. So thank you very much for watching once again. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your back.